Welcome to Wine Vault TV, New Zealand's most passionate wine program. I've got my. He may not be my best, best mate. I'm the yeah. most honest one. Oh, uh, Pete Rodenberg just got back from um, the UK. Oh yeah. And um, watcher, watcher, and we're going to do a joint one together. I thought that, being that he's back here, it, how long have you been back? Since last week, four last days, five, 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 seven, eight days. Well, yeah. Like, yeah. Um, I'm just going to pull straight into your glass. Okay. Is that Did great? you get much New Zealand wine in the UK while you were away? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, like what? Big labels, mate. Um, Donna Maria, Montana. Um, nothing very particularly flash. Although, um, Marks and Spencers, Marks and Spencers uh, has. Good selectors, tasters, whatever. They've got good wines. They've got quite a quite a bit of New Zealand wine actually. Ten dollars, ten pounds a bottle. And was it was there any kind of buzz? Do I have to talk louder? No, no. Was there any buzz um, about New Zealand wine whilst you were New Zealand open? wines was well, they were the ones that were always sold out. Right. Okay. So you went to Tesco's and there was always there would always be at least one or two of them that were like all gone. Um, and what were the price points over there? Because we've seen a real kind of we. Not that we've seen, we are hearing of a real price drop in like Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc in the UK, especially being able to pick it up to something like three to four pound rather than what it used to be at seven pound. No, definitely not three you to four pound. You didn't see that? No, there were specials on that went down yeah. as low as five pounds or six pounds. They do, they, Tesco's do a lot of half price things. Um, but they never went down to two or whatever, three pound or anything like that. Most, Lowest would go to about five or six pounds, and that would be a special, and that would be cleaned out. There'd be nothing left on the shelf. Right, okay. Um, generally went for nine, eight to nine pounds. Right, okay. Yeah. And, and were your friends drinking them? Um, did you have any friends while you were? Did you make any? Friends? I made one friend. You made one friend. One oh, friend. Little Pete. Yeah. Is that why you phoned me up so much? No, I only phoned you four times <laughs> in two years. So I didn't need you that much. Right? <laughs> one every six months. And so, Oyster Bay, did you see them over there? Because the Oyster Bay, well, the Sauvignon Blanc is the biggest selling white wine in Australia. Um, Oyster and this Bay. is yes, the white, Oyster yes, yes, Bay. Yes, 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 yes. That was on the Tesco, Tesco channel. Oyster right, Bay. okay. Um, 2009, Merlot. Um, now, they're obviously, they're pretty big. And by delegates. And, um, yeah. Do you want Are you into your wine? Well, you know, not as much as you, but, you know, I drink, I, tr I drank quite a bit of French rum, but I found it quite hard to work out what I was drinking after that. Why? Well, they don't tell you the grape, and I don't know the region. Did you not like the romance and the mystery behind it all? And yeah, the I discovery? Did, I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then I thought I'd, I thought I found something really nice, and then I went back and bought it again, and it was just not very nice, and I just found it was a bit difficult, so I just went stuck to um, New Zealand whites most of the time. Okay. Yeah. Well, it was like this massive volume of knowledge that I needed to acquire that just Prior seemed to a bit too hard. Yeah, and I didn't have time to study. And, well, you know, even take a bit of a read or interest. I've worked pretty hard. What do I do now? Sniff it? Yeah, sniff it. And tell me what you get. Mm. Let's start. Um, plums. Yeah, a bit of plum. Yeah, there's lots of plum, eh? Yeah. But bit. bit. bit very ripe plums. Yeah, but it's there's, super right. look for me, and it is only my nose, yeah. that there's something that's really kind of obvious and overriding in that glass. Like a raspberry or something. Yeah, raspberry and... The other thing. Kind of cedar wood. No. Sandalwood, no. that kind of... No. That bramble, blackberry bramble. Blackberry bramble, maybe, but... Yeah, it's almost kind of like blackberry and apple... Um, a bit of apples, yeah. Blackberry and apple crumble. Cran cranberries? No, not cranberries. Blackberry berries. Yeah. Raspberries. You're gonna spit this sucker? Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. mm. You can swallow it. Mm. You draw air through it. Push your lips, yep, to your forward, push your lips and draw air back through it. And it goes into your post nasal space and up into your olfactory sense. Receptor. What are you getting? I know it's quite yummy, it's very smooth. It is very smooth. It's chocolatey. Um, right at the end there's a bit of chocolate, but I get this kind of like that, that plum blackberry. Yeah, it's a plum, do you know? Um, character right there. Right on um, the top of your mouth. It's a bit sticky, isn't it? It's a bit of sticky in the roof of your mouth. It's, a bit it's quite sweet. Yes. Yeah. Almost a lot of saccharine sweet. Yeah. 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 Artificial sweetness sweet. Yeah. Yeah. 
yeah, it's got that kind of overriding sweetness to it. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> Um So, are you glad to be back here? Um, yeah, 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 pretty glad. Yeah, glad to see um, glad when the sun's shining. I've got to say that like, this is winter, middle of winter. Yeah, this is right. alright. This is and good. Kind of like we can wear a t-shirt and shorts. And on your own shorts, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. You yeah, know, I'm, I'm glad to be back. Um, still missing um, a lot of the English things. A um, bit of culture shock. What were we good at over there? Um, Apart from driving. This is just a bigger variety of things that's more happening. Um, London being down the road, clothes. Shopping, the food, the food, uh, it might be fresher here, but there was a far greater variety. Um, I know, just strange things. Like, um, like flour, there was this double oat flour that I used to buy to make a pizza base, and I couldn't find it in the supermarket. And I thought, wow, this is it's more, than, it's more than I'm used to. Strange thing, strange thing, but you know, it's all happening. Because I'll give you a bit of history about Pete and I. Pete and I met in 1996, Euro 96 pretty much, um, watching soccer on, on TV yeah, in, I remember. in Basingstoke, in, right. whilst we were in the halls of residence there. Yeah. And Do you remember uh, the game that we watched? At, um, yeah, it was Germany versus England. England. Yeah, yeah, the big yeah, game. Yeah. Remember that one? Yeah. 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 Surprised. <laughs> he um, played really good pool that night, do you remember? <laughs> yeah. Enough of that, right? He knocked, he knocked, he knocked seven balls, boom, 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 one after another, and he came up the black, and it was just, he was just on fire. And I could just see this was going to be either just the most brilliant shot in the world, or just be the, the worst shot in the world. It was the worst. It was the worst. Yeah. That's amazing. That's, that's all we need to say. Yeah, so, the anyway, pressure got to you. Nice to nice see you. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. <laughs> nice to be back. Yeah. So let's, let's pause this and see what it looks like. Yeah. Okay. And um, we'll catch you next time on Wine Vault TV. Yeah.